All right, so I'm going to need local. So again, what I did here is I localized the, the axillary nerve. Um, what I did initially was I localized the quadrangular space, which is comprised of teres minor, the surgical neck of the humerus, the long head of the biceps, and the uh, subscapularis. Uh, what I did is once I localized that, I basically came at, um, I turned the transducer to a more, to a, to a more lateral position and then placed the Doppler, localizing the circumflex artery. Once that the artery was localized, which you can see pulsating nicely right there, um, I basically made a mark about five centimeters medial and um, and we'll get started. So that's going to be my target zone. So uh, if I could have, uh, so I'm using 2% uh, lidocaine with epi. Hey, man, you're going to feel a little pinch, OK? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to localize the superficial skin here. And I'm going to localize down, being real careful not to anesthetize down to the nerve itself, because we will have to stimulate. And what I don't want to do is stimulate if we, if we do end up anesthetizing the nerve, we will not be able to stimulate. There you go, my friend. Can I have the, um, the 11 blade? So what I'm going to do here is utilize an 11 blade to make a stab puncture. Again, one of the things that you really got to be careful of when doing this procedure is to ensure that you don't move the ultrasound too much during the procedure. Here you go, Michael. Thanks, buddy. Because what happens is if you move the ultrasound too much, that nice view that you had changes. And then all of a sudden, you're now not knowing exactly where you're aiming, which is, again, kind of what I just did there. So I'm going to try to re relocalize that, that position. So uh, Colleen, do me a favor. I timed out. Can you just hit the? Uh, Right up there. This one? Yeah, that one right there. Good. Perfect. So you know you've been here too long. It's almost like the machine's telling you, dude, you're going too slow. Um, all right, man. Can I have the uh, stem probe? Thank you, sir. So we're going to place the stem probe through the puncture site. John, you're going to tell me if you feel any discomfort, okay? And I'm gonna to try to use some more local. So you can see the probe coming across here. Again, it's important to gauge your depth here. And remember that you're trying to utilize the needle and change the position of the needle to, or of the probe itself to accommodate your ultrasound. You really don't want, to, you don't want too much give and too much movement of that ultrasound probe because what can happen is, again, you're changing your entire picture when you do so. So I think we're pretty close there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, OK, great. No, I think we're good. Um, so I'm going to ask Colleen now to give me the stimulator. And we're going to try to stimulate. Man, that is a nifty fastener. Oh, that's If I could, if I could, you know, that is like fancy. So in this, so what you could do here is, um, you know what? We'll get a white. We'll get a white. Hold on a second. I'm gonna clip this here. I keep white. She gets yellow. There you go. And then what I might ask you to do. What I might ask you to do, Michael, mm -hmm. is I might ask you to gently, I'm going to hold on to, if you could hold that. So, so this is where having, you know, you get by with a little help from your friends. <laughs> right? Right. Colleen, have you heard that song? Uh, I, yeah. Isn't it the Beatles? Yeah. You feeling your arm move there? Yeah. You got a really nice motor contraction here. 0. 0.7. 0. 0.7. Great. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we're going to. Disconnect this. So we're going to make sure that nothing moves now. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to get the dilator. Good, Michael. Listen, Michael. <laughs> Michael. 
Michael is no joke, people. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even need to be here. <laughs> so, I don't need to be here. <laughs> there, you're, 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 the, you're the star of the show, no, man. I don't need to be here. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is gently feeding this down. Again, under the ultrasound, making sure. And what I want to do here is make sure that the tip is just... Just past. You're okay, so. you okay, my friend? Yeah, it's a little comfortable. A little comfortable. Now, again, how's your pain during this? Are you okay? Right there. Right there is where it is? Oh. Okay. Coming back a little, bud. Good job. Yeah. How you feeling? Okay. Good job, man. You're doing great, John. You're doing great, John, okay? All right, I'm going to test this again, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on to there. And reconnect. Now, ho hold this tight, Mike. Make sure that doesn't move. Hold it again. Go. Okay. All right. Oh. Real good contraction. Are you feeling that in your shoulder? My arms is jerking it up and down. Okay. We'll come okay. back a little. Good. Perfect. All right. Hold that again, Michael. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. There's a nice contraction there. Okay. Point five. Beautiful. And do we over? Do we need to overshoot that dial We that? yeah. We, that's where it is. It's right at the tip. Perfect. Okay. All right, good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the stim probe. probe. Okay. Hold that, my friend. And then, Michael, what I'm going to need you to do, my friend, is I'm going to have you turn the um, turn the probe here. Okay. You, you see that the, the, this thing right here? Not not the full probe, like the kind of screw part. Yep. Right there, my man. And then we're going to pull that out. Good. Yeah. Now take the lead. Beautiful. So again, if you're not, you're getting the gist, the gist here. I place the lead in. Again, and I should, I'd like to see the tip of that come out, which I do right there. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna test one more time. You want to have the once the black meets the black. You want to have, you want to stop right there. I'm going to put the stimulator on again. And we're going to turn that on. Are you feeling anything, Michael? Or John? <laughs> no, I can't tell. See, I feel it here. Okay. Because I'm not, uh, I'm not sure where it's connected. Oh, here. So, um, Michael, you know what? why don't you push the white down, mm -hmm. this part here? Now? Yep. Yeah. No. Let me pull it out. There you go, maybe it's a little more. I can see it under the ultrasound, it's got a nice placement. Okay. Well, I feel his arm moving. If you, if you feel like we're in the right place, let's just go ahead and... I do, I feel it. Okay. Yeah. All right, Mike, pull that off of there. This one? Yep, pull the white off. And then what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to pull the... No. So come back. Nope. So nope. So you want to put it back so you're like black on black. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you want to start to hold that lead loader and retract the sheet so the lead loader doesn't move as you're pulling the sheet back. Good. That will deploy the anchor. There we go. All right, man. So your lead is in. So now it's just a matter of Waiting to heal or then. get that puppy over to here, and then we're good to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hand that to you, Michael. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place this over here. Get this out of the way. Now what I need to do is I'm going to measure this out to 
where I'd like it to end up, which is about there. So if I could have a, so what I would try to do is about two to three centimeters beyond the, um, One, yeah, I, I'm trying to get it further out just so we can get good contact of it because his other shoulder's not that good. Yeah, okay, so you really want to, yeah, you know, right. just have a, you know, keep in mind what the other anatomical issues your patient has because that will affect how easy it is for them to put the pads on, how easy is it for them to, to utilize the machine. Because at the end of the day, it could be the greatest modality, but if it's annoying or difficult to utilize, like from a practical standpoint, they're not going to utilize it. So it's really important at this point of the procedure to you know, really think about some of that stuff. Um, all right, so we're going to go right about here. Now, if I can have some local. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do first is go through the localized segment. And then what I'm going to do is localize our exit point. Good job, my friend. I'm going to localize the other direction as well, just because I really don't want my friend here because he is under local anesthesia only. And that's really how I recommend you do it. All right, my man, uh, can I have the 11 blade? <clears throat> Good job, my man. Yep. I just need the stylet. Uh, the stylet is the uh, the one with the hub on it. Which one? Yeah. There's one with a hub, and then there's the one that goes, just like this, the other stimulators we do. Okay, so you're going to grab that. Yep, that's going to be the second thing. Right. The first thing is the one with the pointy edge. So you don't have your other fingers on it. It's just right there. Oh, okay. Yep, stylet and two of them. All right, good job. So again, always note always know where your needle tip is. And as we come through, then what we do is again, you're, you're utilizing this, so you need something to feed the lead back. So you place the hub on top. Now again, be careful not to Taking care not to stab yourself <laughs> out the other end. Once you come through and you see the lead, that's when you Perfect. remove. Yep. Michael, he may use some forceps here. So then what you're going to do is you're going to feed. Forceps. Yep. You're going to feed the electrode through. And as you're feeding the electrode through, carefully trying to make sure not to smush the thing. Yeah. And as you're coming through, then you withdraw, and you're all good. There you go. John, John you're all done, buddy. Oh, good. OK. I know I'm going to feel <clears throat> Yes, sir. Once it so, wears off, all, all the you did great. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to place a, um, we're going to clean the area. I'm going to place a little derma bond on there and then we're good to go, bud. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not too bad, right? No. I'm going to be sore. I'm saying after that. Well, we're, we're going to, I'm going to give you some medication and okay. we're going to make sure we cover your soreness afterwards. Okay. Good job. And if I can have that derma bond, my man. It's coming. Derma bond coming up. <clears throat> He's not going to get a dressing. No dressing. What's that, crazy glue? Cool. Yep. You got it. That's exactly what it is. Good job, buddy. That's it.